In week five of our online course, we will look at the new governments that came into power in the South in the wake of the Reconstruction Act of 1867. For the first time in American history, large numbers of African American men were able to vote, were able to hold office, and they became one of the dominant forces in the South as the Republican Party came to power throughout the defeated Confederacy. We will look at this sort of triumvirate or the trio of, of political and social groups that dominated the new governments. First, the African Americans, who they were, the black leaders. There's a lot of misconception, misunderstanding about the black political officials of Reconstruction. The so-called carpetbaggers, another group very often misunderstood, northerners who came down to the South to take part in public life. And the so-called scalawags, southern white Republicans who cooperated with these uh, new Republican regimes. So this was a complete and utter political revolution in the South. The old planter class was swept from power and new groups came to power throughout the South and we'll try to figure out what their aims were, what their ambitions were, and who really were the leaders of the South during what often is called radical reconstruction.